Okay, good morning. I hope you can hear me over. I've got my little microphone on. I hope you can hear me over the uh, fan. But again, it's hotter than blue blazes in the garage here. And I wanted to do a video on some of the tripods that I have and the reasons behind them, other than the fact that I have no self-control. Slither on in here with the snakes. Now let's do this. I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out or something. Hey, I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out or something. Okay, the, um, there's a noisemaker right there. The first one is this one here. This one's kind of unique in the fact that it, uh, has got the handle on it right here, so it's easier to carry. And the re what I've got this one set up for, you hang weight off of it right there to, uh, make it a little bit more stable. But the biggest thing about this one is, is it's got the flip over. I forget how to do it. Oh, there it is. It's just tightened way the hell down. This is so I can put the two meter 440 Yagi on it for satellite. You can bolt it on here in a horizontal orientation and then go with a vertical orientation and just flip it back and forth while it's mounted without having to mount and unmount it. So that's the reason behind that particular tripod. But wait, there's more. Okay, I'm just going to go on blind, dumb faith that this time the camera is actually going to record all this. And I just wanted to do this really quickly, which, good luck. The next thing that I had purchased, these are all a while ago, these are things I've had for a while, is this deal okay yep you guessed it so that you can put a tripod on it and do action shots oh but wait then we have now this is a heavy bastard This particular one I had for the longest time in my office set up as a portable desk. And, you know, why it's being such a punk now, probably because it's not on there, right? Um, This is a pretty rugged mother. As a matter of fact, I may have purchased this one to go on top of that. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, this, yo, it did. It was on top of the wheels. Um, let me see how many years it'll take me to do that. If it's even worth it. I mean, both of you watching this are probably already bored to tears, so. We'll see. It's got a little bubble right here so that you know you're level or not level. And basically, you just throw the feet in there.
YouTube docs me when I curse like crazy on my videos. So, wait a minute. I'm not getting monetized by them for Jack Squad anyway, so I don't care. But I try not to do a lot of profanity unless it's absolutely warranted. It. Is that a word? Warranted? It? Has to come up to. I can I'm trying to remember why exactly I extended this dagon thing out so far. Anyways, oh to to show you that it was indeed a tripod and tall. So. You have to slide the feet into the, it's like a uh, U-shaped clamp in there. I hope this is the audio. I'm beginning to lose faith in this. I've recorded five or six great videos that would have won Academy Awards for creative content that I had to just flush because... Well, they sucked. And the video, the audio didn't capture. And I know that's hard to believe with me being such a respected member of the uh, YouTube community. <laughs> Not. Just another knucklehead man trying to make videos that are entertaining and somewhat informative. And I don't know that I'm doing either. So, based on my viewer and uh, subscriber count, I would have to say I'm probably fairly accurate. Okay, so it did go the other way. There's a screw on here that I put flipped the little foot, the tightening foot, the wrong way. And, of course, it decided it was going to I'll show you so you spread the the feet out as far as it'll go clamp it down so it didn't go anywhere And like I said, I had a portable desktop on top of here. And it would look it would appear that this is not balanced. So I'm gonna just loosen everything up and see if I can't get it to behave itself. I know that may be a trick. So, that was rather painless, but the desktop I've got, it's the shoe, I guess it would be the hot shoe or whatever shoe that fits on here, is on that desktop up in my office, and of course, you know, then you're like a big time movie producer, woohee! Okay, so there's that one. This one is unique in that it is also heavy duty. Um, but the reason I wanted it. Yeah, it's got all the mount, the shoe, and the plate, and all that stuff on it. But the greatest thing about this, or one of the great things about it, is the fact that the legs
on it. Can go sideways. Or and I reckon you gotta loosen all this crap up. So a little bit more stable. I don't know if you can see that. But its legs go all the way out like that for little close-up shots, whatever. And I started thinking about it. Wow, that's kind of interesting. So then I went and at some point in my career here of collecting crap, I was able to buy the actual poles for a Pac-12 um, multi-band coil-loaded antenna. Okay, I don't think they'll sell these to you anymore. There's another piece around here somewhere that I just haven't put my hands on that... goes here and that's where the cable for the, the coax would connect to and then there's a splitter that goes up here and then you can put your antenna in there so i was thinking hey that would be really cool to use that as a field expedient tripod but I didn't want to beat it up because it is a professional grade tripod. So then on Marketplace just the other day, I tripped on this and probably paid way more for it than it was worth. No, actually, I looked it up. And lo and behold, You rat bastard. Well, there's a markdown. So, okay, so it goes all the way down. And you can thread this fitting it's actually part of the antenna or could be and then you've got the base for the pack 12 or the like a buddy stick pro that's what those sticks are for same thing so that's for being out somewhere you get it really out there up in the air and you can obviously extend the arms, the legs on it way out. You can see if it's balanced and all that stuff. So those are the three, four tripods that I've got. And I don't know where that piece is. I believe, oh, I remember what it was. The Japanese or Chinese, if you buy a 18-foot telescoping antenna, telescoping, it will indeed telescope out to 18 feet. Really rugged, heavy-duty, small, packable. The problem is that's a 10-meter, 10 10-millimeter 10 thread. That's 3-8, 24. 3 8 coarse and the mounting thing that this would go into here does not fit so I actually found a converter that would screw on here and this would screw into it and then you could run that up as a vertical up in the air uh, 18 foot vertical and I've also got a one of those ground plane things is also adapted to be able to be here or 
you could extend that up and put a capacitance cap on here. The configurations are pretty much limitless. So that is the tripod video. There's, I don't know if that's visible right there in the screen or if that is visible, but I'll be working on those today. Um, oh, and the other thing I wanted is to be able to get a piece of PVC and a 3 8 nut and make a vertical so that I can put the antennas on it that I've made, the J-pole, the Yagi's, and the uh, stubby J-pole dual band uh, on it so that I could take it out somewhere and test it, at least with the Nano VNA, so I can tune it, calibrate it in, on a stand, somewhere where it's not getting it, the me touching it my presence electrical interference isn't screwing with the uh, calibration so that it's tuned properly so that's what the mean the reason behind this or that and i believe this one will almost thread into that and i'm almost the queen of england so Anywho, four different tripods, four different uses, and look on Facebook Marketplace. People buy these things. They pay big money for them. I think that one is several hundred dollars. This one right here, just for this part without the head or anything like that, I think it goes for like almost 200 bucks. That one over there, um, I think it goes for pretty close to like 150 bucks for just this, and then I think it was 45 bucks, something like that, for the wheels. Um, this one right here, I think, is relatively cheap. I think there, there may be even a fifth one upstairs, uh, but I might have gotten that at Walmart. So, anyhow tripods various usage collapsible obviously that means that you can store them and more of them and you know each one has its own purpose you know um, I don't know if I'll ever use this as a rolling portable desk anymore it's still set up for that but I don't know if I'll ever use it um, this one right here is the one that I'm excited about the most. Uh, oh, one last thought. When I was just describing the connector that goes from a 3 8 course and a 10 millimeter Chinese collapsible antenna and everything in America is 3 8 uh, 24 get yourself a little piece of this metal plate okay about this long cut it off drill two holes in it put that in on one side 10 millimeter bolt hole right there 3 8 24 bolt a little plate and you can offset mount it and you don't have to fight and worry about having a converter from this to this just take a small small piece of this metal and just offset it and it doesn't have to be offset by much so that's the tip for today uh, it's just a inch and a half piece of flat aluminum stock that I use to make the bases for the dual band stubby J, J poles um, or stubby dipoles, stubby J pole. Anyways, that's the news weather and sports. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. 
I'm going to uh, pick this up and give you a preview of what's coming. And y'all have a great day.